okay. What I'm going to do today is show you a method to script an NPC conversation where two NPCs speak to each other. And this probably isn't the uh, the neatest way to do it, but this is just for basically this is the only way I know how. So first up, you're going to want to create two NPCs to do the speaking, which I've done down here, and you'll also want to create a quest to handle their dialogue. But first up, we're going to place them in the world because we need to do that first. So I'm going to put them in Spring Mail. The method I'm using will only trigger the conversation at a specific time. The NPCs won't say it of their own accord. They'll only do it when scripted to do to do so. So let's click and drag my first NPC into the world. Uh -uh. And my second NPC into the world like that. So that's that done. So first of all, you want to click on one of them, NPC one, and in this blank field where it says reference ID, we'll want to give them this reference. It's a bit like I did in my companion tutorial. This is just something so it can be referenced in scripts. Ah, so we've got NPC one ref and NPC two ref. So now I'm going to go to Quest, and I've done this NPC conversation here. So I'm going to want to set up a new topic, and right click and hit New. And I'm going to go for call it NPC NPC One. Um. Two N NPC Two. Like that. You can call it whatever you want, but I'm just calling it that. Look, there's someone coming. All right, and now if we just condition it to be NPC one. Now we're going to make a new topic. NPC two to NPC one. Oh yeah, I see them. So we're going to just hit OK for now. And what the method I'm going to use here is going to be this conversation will be, will trigger when the person reaches a certain distance. So we're going to want to write a script. Let's see. I'm going to call it random combo script. And we're going to be begin on trigger enter player. And now we're going to do NPC1 ref. So that's a reference of NPC1 dot say to npc to ref and now we're going to write the name of the conversation topic npc one to npc two n and close now we're going to click this trigger box up here and drag ourselves a trigger like oh god I bit did it wrong anyway And now we're going to select that script we just wrote, which was called random combo script. Okay. And now I'm going to drag it out like that to fill the whole length of the road. So now we go back to NPC conversation. And we find that topic, look, there's someone coming. And in the result script, we write NPC2 dot say to NPC NPC2 ref dot say to npc1 ref npc2 to npc1 yep and I've forgotten to condition this so that npc2 will say it and again you can repeat that topic as much as you want for any npc saying anything to anybody even even the player which would just be say to player and so you know when you enter that trigger npc1 will say there's someone coming then npc2 in response will say oh yeah again the, the script processing delay is 5 by default, but you can change it to 1 if you want the scripts to process quicker and the dialogue to happen quicker. Or, you know, any any amount of time if you want the scripts to process slower. 
So that's basically it. You can repeat that as, lo as long as you want for a longer conversation. But this will only trigger this. Oh, hold on. Something else you might want to do. In this script, you might want to set it so that it only runs once. So to do that, you'll go, you'll write short, do once. So you're declaring a variable there. And we'll write if do once equals zero, which it does by default. And then we set do once to one. End if and end. So that now that script will only run the once because if this variable equals zero, that will happen, and then do once will be set to one, so it won't ever run again when you enter. And that's just one method. You can even do that with quest stages as long as you fill in the dots, as long as you fill in the dot say to section that I did, and then with the relevant reference and relevant dialogue topic, you could save that at any point with any sort of trigger that you wanted. And so that's the end of this tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope that was useful. Goodbye.